through to the spring. Today, we've announced £4.6 billion of additional help. For businesses in the most affected sectors who are asked to close, they will receive up to £9,000 in a one-off cash grant. It's important to remember that comes on top of the existing monthly grant of... Hi guys and girls, fellow YouTubers. Right, this is part two of the Sanyo CTP 290 Vintage TV Restoration video. Um, now, since I made the part one, um, I've been through all my radio and TV servicing books. I cannot find any reference at all to the CTP 290. Um, the only thing I can find in the 1974-75 book is um, a diagram for... Um, the Sanyo CTP 37371 um, which looking at the diagrams is actually very very similar um, but it's incredibly difficult to read these diagrams now I've actually changed a couple of capacitors in the frame output stage with great difficulty um, in fact I've used capacitors of a similar size so they don't look out of place um, the only way I've been able to do this is with um, soldering iron tips that bend round corners to get access because this is a really difficult TV to work on so under the circumstances I've decided um, the best thing to do now is I've got the TV going is to um, call it quits and not do anything more to it I mean there's plenty of other issues with the TV itself the convergence is slightly out um, the sound doesn't go down to zero um, the uh, the controls are all crackly which i'm not just going to spray switch cleaner in because anything fastened on plastic will all disintegrate after a few weeks because the the, the service on it attacks the plastics so due to the difficulty um, of working on this set which i'm going to turn it around in a moment and um, by the way there isn't a hum bar on it that seems to be generated by the camera and um, the set's actually running now we'll turn up the volume the eastern coast of East Anglia, many will be dry. The rain sleeps. Uh, the picture's not nice too bad, to but there's, there are still lots of little issues on it the one sorting out. Um, but I've decided um, I'm not going to go any further, so I'll turn the set round, it's still running, and I'll show you one of the problems with it. So there we go. I've, I've also decided I'm not going to hoover it or clean it out inside. Um, now, the big problem with this set. Um, and I guess with any um, of this sort of age is all these pan none of these panels actually plug in um, they're all hardwired in um, you can see the two caps I put on there um, all these boards are all hardwired in there's virtually no access to get to anything um, and to do any more restoration work on this TV is going to be an absolute nightmare even cleaning it um, I could knock something or a wire could fall off and the set will never go again so I've decided under the circumstances the best thing to do is I've got the set going um, it's, it's not 100% perfect there's lots of little niggling problems with it but it is actually workable and watchable so under the circumstances we're going to end the video here and I'm not going to do any more work to it but I'll just show you a couple more pictures of it that's it that's the new uh, valve running there, CRT. Um, but if you look at this, everything's hardwired, soldered. None of these panels come out. Um, I'm not even going to fix the knob because I've undone these screws here and I can't get the chassis out. And the last thing I want to do is to uh, knock a wire off something and, and then the set never goes again. So that's the set, it's up and running. So it's not too bad, but I, I do see lots of niggling problems. The decoder obviously wants setting up, the linearity is still out, um, the sound doesn't go down to zero, but basically the set's working and um, I'm going to wrap it up now and we're going to move on to a different project. So there you go guys, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel for some more interesting videos resulting in huge pressure on the NHS. Elections are taking place in the US state of Georgia, which will decide the course of Joe Biden's presidency. Mood of the nation, as people are told to stay at home, will look at the impact the latest lockdowns are having on our mental health.
And coming up on BBC News, England's cricketers have been tested again for coronavirus in Sri Lanka ahead of their two-test season.